Now, a Pan-African Conference on Women's Rights in Christian Communities is happening in Nairobi in efforts to challenge the narrative as to why religion has been painted as denying women their rights within churches. And as Dolly Morigi Mbuvi tells us, the conference is seeking to showcase how the faith communities are challenging gender. As the country continues to celebrate 16 days of activism, the Faith to Action Network has embarked on a mission to create awareness on gender equality in churches. The Faith to Action Network seeks to challenge the narrative of why religion has been painted as denying women's rights within churches. The consultative process on women's rights in Christian communities culminates in a four-day physical conference which kicked off today in Nairobi, bringing together participants from the Eastern and Horn of Africa, Southern Africa, Western Africa, Western and Central Africa, Northern Africa and Middle East regions. Gender-based violence has been reported to be one of the leading factors towards gender injustice in, in church spaces, as Ezra Chitando from Southern Africa tells us. The Southern African region has made tremendous steps towards gender justice. Unfortunately, these steps are not yet adequate. A large number of women and girls still remain excluded from positions of leadership in religion, that is both Christianity and Islam, as well as in society. A number of factors are responsible for this unfortunate circumstance. One of them is historical. That is, across time, religions have sponsored a gender ideology that excludes women from leadership. Another reason is social, where society privileges boys and men. Um, one could also add religious and theological reasons why certain interpretations of the Bible, for example, lead to the exclusion of women and girls from leadership. Women have been fighting for equal rights and impartial treatment both in the society in and in workplaces. However, the voices of women in religion over gender equality matters is still low, according to Zanel Makombe, a social justice activist who believes in the power of words and voice that calls out injustice. Historical, where women have been in positions of authority, but also because of misinterpretation of scriptures. Earlier we heard how, uh, is it the first... Uh, chronicles, the first chronicles where people were talking about how women should not speak in church. So that has led people to say no, women should not take leadership roles and also there are issues that are associated to be women's issues are not discussed in conversations. Um, issues like menstrual health, menstrual hygiene. People's lives are conditioned among other things by the knowledge acquired and information received throughout life. It's still low in most of churches, sure, but we, we are working we have a um, move, movement in uh, uh, our region because now a uh, lot of, especially young women, know about rights, uh, know about everything in their rights and the CEDAW and uh, a lot of things. We also want to empower men uh, and we are empowering them through uh, uh, an education we are calling positive masculinities. This is whereby we are empowering men to be able to own the hands of their of, of their, um, let me say, of their young girls in the community, of their sisters, of their mothers, so that they can understand that even women themselves, they have uh, their right and they need to be given uh, the position to be able to talk for themselves. Dolly, Marie Kimbovi, for Hope TV, Nairobi.